yes, we've got 110, and as they say, there's no compare, obviously. Uh, just no, a bit lower. I can't. No, there's nothing like a baritone. Uh, there is they a God's gift to the world of music. <laughs> Speaking as a baritone. Excellent. They are God's gift to the world. They get all the girls as well. Yeah, we do. In opera, in theory, the tenors get the girls, but in reality, uh, we reality, get them. Reality yeah, is yeah, the yeah, baritones, yeah. isn't it? Exactly. <laughs> you, you come from a great... Um, family. Uh, I, I, I knew your mum and I know how many careers sh she's launched and in, in some ways you, you, you could look at Liz as, as your mum but you, you can also look at Liz as, as, as almost a teacher and a, and, a guide, and a guide in hand for you whether you were related to her or not. Well I remember because uh, with the Carmarthen Youth Opera mm. uh, I was always allowed by my mum to be in the chorus and nothing else. Right? Really? And there was one year they were doing half a sixpence, so I was 17 probably, 16, 17. And I asked if I could audition, and she said, well, you'll do the same as everybody else. You'll prepare a song, you'll come into the audition, and you'll do your job. And if you're good enough, we'll put you through to the next round. And if not, you'll be back in the chorus. And she said, just remember, there's no small part, there's only a small person. Yes. The chorus is as important as the lead. Mm. And I remember going to Paulie Sloan Thomas, who became the head of music at the BBC and whatever else. And I went up his house, he was only a youngster, and he went through the song Half the Sixpence, be and he taught it to me. And I went into the edition, got the part. But uh, she was a tough old cookie with her. I think tougher with Win and I in many ways than she was with, with the others. But everybody, she was. Uh, Remarkably, in lots of ways, yeah. I, I remember doing a, uh, a Children in Need event uh, for, for BBC Wales, and um, there were two of us, and, and you know, they put presenters in all different parts of the country, and yeah, our, yeah. our job was, was commanding. And I, they, the, the producer was winding me up on a way down. She said, Oh, don't upset Liz, no. <laughs> <laughs> I said, no, don't upset her. And uh, we went there for a psych meeting the day before, and, and she was lovely, you know, and she, she was, and she spoke her mind, and I remember oh, yeah, yeah, going yeah. to see the brother of the man there, she because of Nicky's connection with command, and she yeah, brought yeah, yeah. brother of the man back to, 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 to the theatre, and uh, and I got given a broken seat, and I was too scared to say anything. I, <laughs> I sat the whole night with my, my, my leg ducked under my seat, with my foot holding my seat up, <laughs> otherwise I would have just gone down, you know. But, you know, the, what the lyric is today, no, it's not been taken over by, by you know, the, the, the theatre guy and all that. She, she kept that going, she mom did. and dad, for yeah, yeah, for, years. Yeah, and yeah, you forget about my dad in lots of ways, because yeah. he was the kind of quiet one in the background that kind of did the maintenance yes. on, the, on the lyric. Yeah, and but whatever. just as big a part. Just as big a part. And, uh, yeah, it was important. I went back there six weeks ago with Rob Brydon to do uh, a concert mm. to launch this album. And uh, it was very important that the, the, the whole journey for me, f for this project, uh, and any project that I'm able to, goes back to the lyric. And uh, sometimes it's possible, sometimes it's not for various reasons. But, but well, yeah. Was that a big thing for you? Last year you did the, uh, the, the promo, didn't you, for the Cardiff Singer of the Year? That was you, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, I hope it was, no, anyway. Not last year. Was uh, it the year before? Yeah, a couple of years ago. Because well, yeah. in some ways you, 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 you're not allowed to be recognised there because the star is the event, the Cardiff Singer of the Year, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. But, but that was a nice little, that, that would have helped the career, I would have thought. Yeah, no, I did. I really enjoyed it. It was interesting. From that, I had lots of phone calls saying, I didn't know you could act as well. Mm. I don't know, suddenly because you're singing in a commercial or something. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then since I've done the Sherlock Holmes with Guy Ritchie, and uh, yeah, it was, it, it did, it did help in lots of ways. But it, it was funny. Although I was on the tally for the BBC advert, doing uh, singing, I was there as an opera singer. But yeah, you're absolutely right. What, what was the feedback that was coming about? God, you can act as well, which is brilliant. And but, uh, but the acting you would have trained for, for for opera is a very different style of of, of acting to, to drama, comedy, or, yeah, or yeah, any absolutely. other genre. Of our, of our business. Yeah, I think I think it's sometimes the director in opera wants it to be more like um, TV, so it's this smaller, but it's not. The art form is big, in your face, bold, and uh, incredibly moving. Mm. Um, and uh, yeah, you know, the, the old fashioned opera singers, they weren't the subtlest actors, but my God, it was so moving. Uh, and it's the music and the, and the voices that should come first. Let's have a little listen to to, to the uh, a song from the album. I, I've gone for Fields of Gold. You, are you happy yeah, with yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, anything. That kind of fits in, you know. It's, it would be on the playlist. So, <laughs> so <laughs> play that. Uh, when, I, when I find out where, where it is, there we are. That, I think it's... Uh, I'm going to put that off. I, I, I think it's that one there. I, I don't play CDs very often. <laughs> I don't know what to do. And the 
west wind moves upon the fields of Bali, you'll forget the sun in his jealous sky as we walk in fields of gold. So she took her love far to gaze a while upon the fields of Bali. As a hair came down among the fields of gold. Will you stay with me? Will you be my love among the fields of Bali? We'll forget the sun in his jealous sky as we lie in fields of gold. Like a lover's soul upon the fields of Bali, feel her body rise when you kiss her mouth among the fields of gold. I never made promises like you, and there have been some that I've broken. I swear in the days still left We'll walk in fields of gold We'll walk in fields of gold new album, uh, the baritone uh, Fields of Gold, good song as well. Uh, oh, there's, yeah. there's a real mix of songs on there, isn't there, really? Yeah, well, it, it was funny. When, when this project came forward and I was asked to sing some pop songs, you know, my, my initial reaction was, bloody hell, I've trained, I've trained for 20 years, I'm a classical <laughs> singer. Well, You're allowed 16 swear words a day, <laughs> right? It's no more now, though. Oh, sorry, yes. <laughs> uh, and, uh, <laughs> apologies. No, you're right. Uh, and, and it was funny that bit by bit, I just thought, look, these are just songs that I've kind of grown up with or love or, or mean something to me. Why can't we have a go? Yeah. And we were, you know, there's a 30 piece band on there. And do you remember Harvey and the Wallbangers? I do, yeah. But Harvey Bruff, who was the lead singer, he arranged the album. And uh, That's good. yeah, we've got some really quirky stuff. You know what? Sometimes I, I think the album, people are expecting fireworks. But actually, it, it's not about that. It's about the beautiful song and hopefully a bit about the voice. And uh, it's just been uh, produced and there's some great playing on there. We, we, so we recorded at Real World Studios at Peter Gabriel's mm. little joint. And, um, yeah, I, just an exciting project. And hopefully, you know, it's moving. It, it, it does what, it's, what it says on the tin, hopefully. I, I was a great fan of Howard Keel, Barrett's Oh, and, me too. And when I, I, I saw him in, in his latter years at the, the St. David's Hall in Cardiff, I was the youngest person in the audience, and the only one not drinking Synathogen, to be honest. <laughs> but um, he, 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 these are the songs he sang, you know. He, yes, he did the, you know... He blessed um, your beautiful hides and everything. High, he did the 7% right, he did the showboat songs. He, he, you know, it wouldn't be a Howard Keel concert, but, you know, some of the stuff you've got on, on, on there, have I told you lately that I loved you? Yeah. He did those songs and did yeah. them incredibly well. Yeah. They're good songs for the baritone voice. Yeah, and, and also, it, it, it's funny, I mean, I'd love to do an album of Rodgers and Hammerstein and all that kind of... Um, I said the old musicals, the showboats and the things oh, like yeah. that. 
but so many people have done that yeah. and i just felt it, we needed to do something a little bit different just to you know to to get airplay to get time and and, and something actually that I think as an artist, as, as, a, as a performer, we need to think outside the box all the time. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, just to create something a bit different. Well, in the summer months in my head, I came to work on a horse singing, Oh, what a beautiful morning, oh, what a beautiful yeah. day. Yeah, brilliant. But in reality, I jumped in my score and drove 0.4 of a mile. So, uh, <laughs> Mark, it's a joy to talk to you, my friend. We you wish too. you uh, all, all, all the very best. And uh, uh, the album, is it available kind of everywhere? Yeah, uh, iTunes, Amazon, and my website, which is www.markshawellinevans.com. Uh, okay. Lovely, lovely and, to you. Yeah, you too, Jacob. Thank you. Yeah, wish you well. Tell her bye. Ta -da. Ta -da.